In this video I will walk through my default print settings for 1.75mm PLA. I use a Felix Pro 3. Let's start. I always print with a 0.35mm brass nozzle. An extrusion multiplier of 1.00 gives good results for all my 3D prints. The extrusion width I use is 0.44mm. Sometimes it's tweaked to print walls without moving back and forth. The average retraction distance I use is 1.50 millimeters. Sometimes, when a model allows it, I turn it off for smoother surfaces. The extra restart distance is set to minus 0.20 millimeters to prevent blobs and zits at the corners. This model is a good example of such a corner. Without the setting, blobs were clearly visible. Let's go to the Layer tab for my Layer Height and Perimeter settings. For most models, I use a layer height of 0.25 mm microns, to save time. Three outline, top and bottom layers usually results in smooth and strong prints. For larger models I tend to use two outline perimeters to save time. The first layer is always printed slightly thicker at a lower speed for better adhesion to the print bed. Next is the additions tab for my skirt and raft settings. I turn on skirt slash brim when models are long and thin. Here you see such a model that is long and thin. The skirt prevents the model from warping on the print bed. A heavier version of a skirt slash brim is the raft function. A raft can also be used to prevent warping. Here's an example of where it's used. This is a real-life example of a 3D print with my settings. For most models, I don't need to use these additions. Now let's go to the Infill tab for some other interesting settings. I always try to print with a default infill of 15% to save time and material. But sometimes I use a 100% infill for specific models. This spool holder needs to be strong, so it's recommended to print it with 100% infill. You see it's completely filled with material. Please subscribe if you like it, thanks. Let's change it back to my default 15%. Another setting that's always on is monotonic. It means that adjacent top and bottom lines are extruded in the same direction for better quality. Next is the tab with my support settings. Base support is set to 20% and the dense support, below the model, is 90% filled. Sometimes I use a higher infill of the base support. In this example you see that smaller parts must have support that is strong enough. When the infill is too low, there's a chance the support is too weak here. For detailed models, I use a horizontal offset of 0.25 mm instead of 0.35. The support still comes off easily and the model itself looks better. A separation of one layer is recommended for being able to remove support material. So far the support settings, next is the temperature. My default temperature for PLA is 185 degrees Celsius. The print bed is heated up to 45 degrees Celsius. It saves time and energy by not heating it up to 50 degrees Celsius. The cooling is set to 40%, starting at layer 2. For most of my prints this is sufficient and reduces the chance of warping. 
When warping is really hard to defeat, I may turn it off completely. Let's change it back to 40%. Finally some settings about the print speeds. I always start with a speed of 3600 mm per minute. I usually leave the other speed settings as they are. When models are smaller or have more details, I reduce the speed. So that were my default PLA settings, together with some exceptions. Get commercial access to all my 3D files here to sell 3D prints. Also check out my design and engineering channel where I post many tutorials. And have a look at my website where everything comes together. Thank you for watching. Also check out my other videos and channels.